Tanjima, good luck. That Mark Free wanted to iron out. He wanted to see more jabs. It's in his 20 wins. Berlanga believes. Here we go. 12 rounds. Super middleweight division. Finding new motivation around the old. Could it be the same for Jason Quickly? That, that's what you do here. Good opening round for the Irishman. Well, Berlanga believes that Quigley is going to take a page out of Coceres. Good motivation. But of course, the power is going to be on the edge of Edgar Berlanga. I like what he's doing. He's punching in between the shots of, of Berlanga's. Power. There it is right there. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa. Close, close round. I can tell you that Berlanga doesn't like that. Oh, that's left. When they asked him if he could take a big punch, he says, I don't know. I don't want to fight. because he didn't need it against a big puncher. That long, long uh, jab out there like that. That yeah, was a quickly ready for this fight. Threw some power punches of his own and may have won that round. Hook the elbow in that. But look at those feints and look at the way he popped it weave. Third punch. See like right there. Out. See that? I love those feints by Quigley. This is the sharpest I've seen, Jason. Look at that beautiful jab. Or frustrated is probably the better word. Because power punchers hate and reacting to every single thing Berlang is doing. Advice. Trap down Quigley, and he's gonna have to do with jabs. Posey Jr. It's a tight fight. This is the best I've seen him fight. You know, it, that's the way it is, but a broken jaw is more mental. A greatly improved Berlanga with his old trainer. Well, listen. What are you seeing from Berlanga right now? Yeah, Andre broke his jaw in that fight. Let him go. Foot fade right there. Is that Jason have a lot more opportunities. Those choppy right hands like that. There you go. Good jab by Quigley right there. Quigley got in trouble last time. Yep. Is this where he wants to be? You see Quigley now just trying to keep Berlanga at bay. Because when you're a tall fighter, you are a tall target. I think Quigley should be jabbed. Shot then and a body shot, good hooks. Good body shot by Quigley, sneaky body shot. And he's maintaining that focus and discipline. Good kind of smile. Good body work and he ate it. Oh. We're extremely close. I think Berlanga's power punching. with his upper body. That will keep the Berlanga's right hand on check. That is, it's really difficult to move around the ring. Ooh, Berlanga. That's what I want to see more of from Quigley. Waiting for Berlanga to land that big right hand. To that right hand of Berlanga now. But he did not win that round. Leaping left from Edgar. Quigley right now. He's keeping Berlanga quiet for Quigley. You can see Quigley thinking that he wants to land. I think he's going to have to land more than just jabs. Blood continues to come out of his nose. Body shot from Berlanga. Gut. The power puncher always coming forward. Gut him to the body. Pedestrian for Berlanga. A nice faint there by Quigley. But I think Verlang is in control. Well, I just saw a short right hand. Oh, my! Snapping jab from Verlanga. 
Quigley is landing some short right hands, just like that. This is strategy right here by Jason Quigley. Look at that. From Edgar Berlanga, so. Quigley's in it, no question. Berlanga is hesitant. Quigley continues to move, but he seems to have a lot of pep in his step. Six rounds. Berlanga has landed more. Tyson and Berlanga have in common, aside from being from Brooklyn. Look, I, I have all the respect in the world for Jason Quigley hanging in there, but look, I, I'm not knocking that he's in this fight. The punch, the placement. Well, what are you seeing from Berlanga right now? Bullies and power punchers. That's what happened to Tyson. Why do you think in the corner of Berlanga, there Andy Lee is the reason Quigley's winning this round. I do. I do not. I think Quigley's doing right. Self much better than he did against Demetrius Andre. And Quigley. Oh, big counter! Chris, that maybe Berlanga overtrained a little bit for this fight. Berlanga told us... Oh, there's a good body shot with the left hand. Nice body shot. And that's another thing you touched on right there, the activity. Quigley, and he's not coming in for a reason. Power jab there by Berlanga. Ooh. And again, they exchange the... There it is again. Wide in favor of Edgar Berlanga. Well, Quigley's done enough to certainly quiet this. Whoa, how about that body shot? As this fight heads towards the 12th, setting up the power shot, the body shot, the head movement. Controversial scored knockdown in the fifth round. Quigley's doing an excellent job boxing, moving laterally. Four, chin down, double, triple the jab. Then you corner your opponent and wing away. A fighting left. But... And Berlanga, on the other hand, win, lose, a draw. Championship rounds, round 11. To win it 95-93, Edgar Berlanga on my scorecard. You got Rock. So there's chinks. There's chinks in that armory. When you think about how the judges might be scoring this fight, one to winning. For the in the power punch is favoring Edgar Berlanga. Like maybe, you know, Berlanga's not doing enough. I just think Quigley's doing. Look like that? Yeah, I would have Berlanga ahead, but... Oh, there's a right hand to the body shot. When the quieter it is, the better it is. So here we go, three minutes left. Set, set. This is what the crowd has been wanting from Berlanga. Just flipping that jab out there isn't going to get it done. Good. Yeah, that was a knockdown! Oh, 